did you recently buy some roller skates? Are you new to the roller skate scene? Are you starting your journey and you're curious about the skate park? Maybe you've already been skating, but now you're ready for the skate park. Well, if any of these things reflect and connect with you, then stay tuned because today I will be explaining five skate park tips for beginners to get you safe, comfortable, and a good time. Disclaimer, all of these tips, advice, anything that I'm gonna be giving you today are all from just experience or things that I've learned at this skate park myself. But please, if by any means these don't resonate with you, it's okay, don't stress about it. See, the beauty of roller skating is it's really unique to each individual roller skater. So take the advice, the tips as you please. If by any chance at the end of the video you think that I forgot something, do not hesitate. Write it down at the bottom. We wanna make sure that we don't miss out on any perspectives. Maybe I forgot something and it's super useful for the next skater. If it is, put it down below. Now that I got that out of the way, let's get to these skate park tips. Tip number one, dealing with skate park anxiety and confidence. If you've ever asked, are skate parks intimidating? How do you get over skate park anxiety? How do you get confident at the skate park? Or should a beginner go to a skate park? Then this tip is for you. Skate parks don't have to be intimidating, although they can be, especially for new skaters. Trust me, sometimes you don't even have to be a new skater. You're just like me, you're always anxious. If you don't have anyone to join you at the skate park or you haven't made any skate friends yet, then the skate park can be a little intimidating, daunting even. Now, depending on the skate park, there could be anywhere between five to 50 or even 100 people, not just skating, but also watching on the sidelines. So trust me, I understand when you say you get a little anxious when you're going to the skate park. It sounds like we covered all the anxiety at the skate park, right? Well, let's leave that at the door now. Now let's thrive and find the confidence. Let's talk about before even putting on the skate. So. Maybe you can come visit the skate park and come with a friend. The friend could be the one on skates and honestly, you can just stand on the sidelines. Check out the runs that they're doing. Maybe check out the obstacles. Maybe there's a small bank, little downhill, that yeah, that might be super intimidating at the skate park, but maybe check out a place in your neighborhood, maybe down the street where there's a little hill that might give you the idea or the feeling that you would feel in there, but you're preparing yourself outside so that way when you do come to the skate park you're ready so you're at the skate park and you're scoping out the locals the locals will give you the best tips and honestly you don't even need to talk to them simply just checking out how they're doing their runs can be so beneficial for example if anyone's familiar with the big houghton bowl everyone knows that there is a pretty steep waterfall that if you're unaware it will get, catch you by surprise so a good tip is watch the locals, see how they're carving that bowl and what areas they're truly preventing because there's probably a reason they're preventing those areas. And at least if you know that they were able to do it, you're able to do it as well. Now to cover that last question, should a beginner roller skater go to the skate park? Well, in my opinion, yes. I think every skater should go to the skate park. Heck, we don't all have the luxury of having a nice mini ramp in our backyard or a bowl or anything nice so we can practice. So yeah, I do feel like you should come to the skate park, but there are a few things that I do feel you should learn and feel comfortable with before even making your way into the skate park. But we're gonna talk about those in a little later in the video. Tip number two, bring the right clothes and gear to the skate park. If you ever ask, what do you wear at the skate park? What do you bring to the skate park? Or what roller skates are good for the skate park? Then this tip might be for you. What exactly is the right clothing? This is the part where I'm really gonna emphasize this is my advice, friends. So please, if this does not apply for you and you can rock it in whatever you're wearing, by all means, wear what makes you feel comfortable. But for my preference, I personally would wear some pretty thick jeans. They're pretty flexible, but also it's gonna cover my skin, so if I accidentally fall or slip, there isn't gonna be any road rash. I've learned the hard way. Hey. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah burn on that. So maybe just dedicate some pants, literally to your skate journey. You know that these pants are the ones that are gonna get musty and dirty and gross, but they're gonna protect you every single time. So definitely wear some comfy pants. Now wearing the right clothing at the skate park could vary for everyone. For me, these pants are pretty padded. So when I fall, I'm not gonna get road rash. I'm gonna feel protected. Where on the other hand, Someone might prefer shorts because they don't want sweaty knees and they prefer the flexibility like our Moxie Shorty shorts that are great for flexibility and comfort and roller skating in general. But aside from that, I think what you should really take from this whole thing is wear what makes you feel comfortable. If you feel comfortable and confident, then you're gonna already start off with such a great session. Now in regards to gear, helmet, wrist guards, elbow pads, knee pads, uh, heck, I've even heard of shin guards, butt pads, anything that's gonna make you feel confident to try new tricks, to get you to slide, to get you to try anything new that you don't feel comfortable with, bring those with you. Don't be shy. You're gonna see a bunch of people wearing them as well. Now, yeah, you can get any pads you want, but you wanna make sure that they fit comfortable. You wanna make sure that they're not gonna be too tight. Maybe you will get some knee pads and they feel a little tight where it's cutting off your circulation. Well, maybe you should loosen those a little bit. The last thing you want is a dead leg in the middle of a run, right? So make sure those knee pads fit nice and comfortable. Not too tight, not too loose either, because if it's too loose, you're in the middle of a run, and then before you know it, your knee pad is down to your ankles, and that's also a bad time, right? So make sure those knee pads are comfortable. Make sure your helmet's not on too tight, not too loose. Make sure that if you shake your head, it's not gonna fly off your head as well. So. Most importantly, friends, make sure you have gear that fits perfect for you. Alrighty, we covered apparel. We covered protective gear. Last but not least, and you know the most important thing here is the roller skate and which roller skate will be the correct one or the right one for the skate park. Another disclaimer, folks, this advice is definitely factoring in skill level. It's also gonna factor in the amount of skating that you're gonna do, the style of skating you're gonna do, the kind of skater that you are. So all of these things will be factored in. Picking the correct skate for the skate park can be quite challenging, especially if this is all new to you. There's so many parts to a skate. What do you mean that there's certain wheels that work better than the others? Well, no worries, friends. Lucky for you, our friend Missy actually recently created a video called indoor skates versus outdoor skates that'll help you answer all those loose questions that you might have. We're gonna go ahead and add the link to that video down to the description. Go ahead and check out the video if you haven't already. Once you do, make your way back here and we'll go on to the next tip. While I'm not gonna go into too much detail as to which skate is gonna be perfect for the skate park, I do wanna give a little advice. If you are looking into the Moxie site and you wanna get yourself a pair of skates for the skate park, we do recommend anything from the Jack Boot, the Panther skate, or the Beach Bunny. If you compare that with some hybrid wheels like our Fun Days or a hard wheel like the Trick Wheel, the Bull Bombers, you'll have a great time at the skate park. For most skaters at the skate park, you'll notice that they're probably gonna be riding some hard wheels. And that's okay if you're not ready for those hard wheels. Maybe those hard wheels are a little intimidating. Maybe you're scared of going too fast. Don't worry. If you just got some gummy wheels, although we don't really prefer you take those, it's not impossible, and it'll at least give you the feeling of going down that little bank. But I do wanna mention, be careful. Don't get too close. You don't wanna make those wheels overlap each other and accidentally bump into each other. The bigger the wheel, the bigger the chance that you might bump into them. So just be careful. Honestly, you can work your way up to a hard wheel. You can start off with the gummy wheel, go to the hybrid wheel, and then go to the hard wheel. What I've learned was Going straight to the hard wheel was a little scary. I did like going from the gummy to the fun day to the hard wheel because of the fact that I felt like I was able to build the muscle as I kept working on it. If you start off with the fun day, maybe you're gonna end up working a little bit harder than the hard wheel because you're not getting that speed, but at least it's building those muscles and making you a little bit more confident before you add the speed. So you wanna know the secret to being everyone's best friend at the skate park? All you need is to bring a tool. You never know who's gonna need it. You never know what for. Maybe someone lost a wheel. Maybe someone lost their toe stop. I got you, whether it's a Y3 tool or a Y4 tool, depending on what's compatible for your plate, bring it with you. 
bring extra things, bring extra wheels, bring extra nuts. Anything that you know, if it falls off, party's over, bring it with you. Now the following section is not sponsored by Essentia, 7-Eleven, or Yerba Mate, but if you are interested in sponsoring us, give us a holler, we're interested. When I come to the skate park, I have so much fun. So much fun that I forget to check the time. And sometimes I'm here for a few hours and I get kind of hungry. One thing we definitely want to advise is have a big meal before you head to the skate park. Make sure you drink lots of water the night before and the day of. You never know how much fun you're gonna have. You don't wanna cut the fun just because you have to go eat. Also, if you're at the skate park, get some healthy meals. Get some water, get some natural energies, maybe some cashews. I like cashews, cliff bars, any kind of snack that's gonna keep you rolling and you're gonna be able to come back the next day. Cause that's the true goal is to be able to come to the skate park every single day until you need to rest, of course. But do what your body tells you. Get some snacks that make you feel good. Tip number three is skating at the skate park. If you've ever asked, how do you start roller skating at the skate park? What should a beginner do at the skate park? What do you learn at the skate park? Or what do you learn first at the skate park? Then the following tip is for you. Now, before we start talking about learning things inside of the skate park, let's talk about learning things outside of the skate park before we even get into the skate park. First things first, do you know how to stop? especially unexpectedly. Do you know how to stop at any given moment? If you needed to stop in an instant, do you feel comfortable? You got your skates on, you're heading inside the skate park, and before you know it, you're looking around and you see someone sliding down the rail. You see a kid on the skateboard. You see the kid on the scooter. You see someone jumping the stairs and you turn around to your left and now you see you're standing in the middle of someone's line. Oh my God, there's so many things happening all at once. What do you do? Stay in control, know how to stop, Get out of the way. It seems like a lot, but being in control of yourself will not only save you, but also save others around you. Now, those are just a few things that you might experience going on a busy day to the skate park. What a lot of skaters do when they're first feeling the skate park is they go in the morning. It's likely less crowded. You're not gonna have as many people. You're gonna feel confident and comfortable wherever you are without having to worry about someone coming straight at you. So if you are newer to the skate park, we definitely recommend try going early in the morning. Not only that, but you also avoid the hot sun. Or find the schedule for your local skate park and try to feel it out. See when it's less busy. That's the time that might be best for you. Bringing an experienced friend to the skate park could be very beneficial because they could tell you the do's and don'ts, maybe a certain way to run that line to prevent any injuries. And honestly, don't go to the skate park by yourself, especially if you're a new skater. The last thing you want is to get hurt and have no one that you know around you. Once you get inside the skate park, pace yourself, feel it out. Make sure that you feel comfortable. Take a lap around the skate park, feel out the ground. Make sure it's not too slippery. Make sure it's not uneven. Feel comfortable, take it easy. Don't go to the biggest thing right away because this is your journey. And we wanna make sure, like I said, we get to skate the next day. Some personal advice, work your way up to the bigger obstacles. Honestly, what I would always tell myself is, start off with something small. Once your mind tells you that that's boring, it's probably telling you that you're comfortable and confident. So once that gets boring, then I add to the next thing and then add from there and add from there. That way I know that my body's ready. It knows what it's expecting and it's not gonna be afraid and maybe I'll bail and hurt myself in the process. Now tip number four, tricks to learn at the skate park. If you've ever asked, how do you skate at the skate park? Or how do you go down a ramp on roller skates? then the next tip is for you. There's a handful of tricks that'll make you a little more confident and comfortable at the skate park. Them being how to pump, how to carve, how to jump, how to drop in, how to go fakey. All of those things are very, very beneficial, like I said. And if you're gonna be heading to the skate park, those are a few that we definitely recommend. Check out the description below. We're gonna be linking a few videos that'll teach you all of these tricks to get you more comfortable. And if by any chance we don't have a link just yet, don't worry, it's probably coming on its way. If you are an experienced skater and there is something that I left out and you think that's super crucial, please do not hesitate. Head down below, add that to the comments as well. And last but not least, tip number five, things we don't recommend at the skate park. Don't do it, don't. If you've ever asked, what should I not do at the skate park? Or what is snaking someone out at the skate park? Then the following tip is for you. First things first, 
Be careful where you set your belongings. When you go into the skate park, the first thing you're gonna do is probably look for a shady spot. Be careful that that shady spot doesn't happen to be a place where someone's gonna be jumping stairs, or it's a bank, or it's something that someone might be working on. Remember, these rails, stairs, and obstacles are all there to be skated on, not for us to sit. Next, we don't really recommend trying to learn a brand new trick when there's a full session going on. There's probably gonna be lots of people at the skate park. You're trying to practice the same thing over and over and over. And sometimes you can take turns and it can work out. But sometimes you could be in the way of other people that are also trying to practice something else. So just be mindful and make sure that you're being aware of your surroundings. Make sure that we're taking turns. Talking about taking turns, let's segue a little bit over into snaking. What exactly is snaking? Snaking, that's weird. Snaking is taking your turn when it's not your turn, meaning we're all surrounded by the bull. Maybe there's five of us. Well, make sure that you're being aware. Is there anyone else dropping at the same time as you? If they are, step back. Don't make it confusing. Let the person go, and when you're ready, step up. People are gonna notice that you're approaching it. Usually, put your hand up. Let people see that you're gonna go in and drop in. If you see someone at the edge of a bowl, don't risk it, don't assume, don't ever assume. The last thing we want is for any unwanted crashing. When you're approaching that bowl, make sure that you're not just in tunnel vision. You're checking your surroundings. You're checking both ways, making sure that everyone is aware that you're up next. Don't take up all the turns. Don't be a snake. And for all my snake friends out there, you know the snake friends that don't have legs and don't have arms or fingers or wear pants and uh, slither on the floor and are cold-blooded? This video is not to hurt your feelings, I'm sorry. I don't even know where this lingo came from, okay? We're just, we're, don't take it personal, you're fabulous. But I just wanted to give a quick disclaimer that we're all uh, snake lovers here, okay? Just not the uh, skating kind of snake. We love animal snakes. I'm a big animal over here. So let's just uh, put that on the side. Snakes, if you need to give me a thumbs down because of this, I get it. It's not like you have thumbs anyways, but you know, whatever, it's fine. Alrighty friends, so that is it. Those are the tips with me here at the skate park. I hope you enjoy these tips. There was quite a lot of them, maybe more than five. But if by any chance they weren't enough for you and you need a little more, have you heard of the Virtual Skate Shop? The Virtual Skate Shop is a great resource. If you haven't checked it out already, please do. We share awesome advice with product information. If you need one-on-one -on -one skate lessons, if you need any help applying a slide block onto your skate or any other questions about your skate, you just need some one-on-one -on -one time with this skater, feel free to book an appointment now. Go to moxieskates.com, find a time slot, find your skater. Heck, hopefully we'll get to bond. Have a good time. I'll see you guys soon. I hope you enjoy the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If I forgot anything like I said, put it down below. Until next time.